welcome to my tomato plant food experiment with the gardener's delight. This is part two and if you haven't watched part one then uh, go back and have a look that might help you. Due to popular request I've the, the other tomatoes in this green airs Marmandi, Tigrella and San Marino and the two Alicantes. The Marmande starting with nettle changing to comfrey on the 18th of the 6th then changing to banana at 1 to 10 on the 6th of the 8th. So I'll just let you read those. Two alicantes, it's going to have urine for the full term and fish poo for alicante number two. I'll just scan down this nice and slow for you and you can pause it wherever you want. The F's in the yield are flowers. When we've actually got flowers on the truss. This indicates first, second place. So you can see on the 4th of the 6th last Saturday, fish poo and compost bin were neck and neck. And then comfrey has gone mad. There's uh, one centimetre in it, but the fish poo is lagged right behind. I'll just show you one or two of the plants, but with my tablet I just can't get close enough that's the banana at 1 to 10 and I actually measure from the top of the bucket to the highest point of the plant, whether it be a leaf or the top of the tomato. The only one that's looking a little bit awkward is the coffee. But as you know, when you take those side shoots out, sometimes it uh, causes problems. And I also want to know if anybody else has problems with leaves growing on the end of the tomato plants. Now that's on the fish poo and one of the bananas. Just see the leaf in the back there. It's only the water is the only one that hasn't got any flowers. That's a, just a very, very small truss. Some have got more, some have got less. That's the comfrey. These are different plants so it's difficult to judge but follow us on some of the social media groups said why don't you actually try mix and matching and see how they get on that's the Alicante 1 and Alicante 2 Two is the fish poo, one is the urine, and one's just slightly better than the other, but it's just the conditions we're in. Now, one 
of the comments I got from Mark Herdis. Uh, it's a shout out for him, his channel. On episode 121, uh, he left me quite a, a good comment. Really interesting. He just uses comfrey, but picks his comfrey at three times a year, and throughout the year, at different stages, the comfrey has got different ingredients, if you know what I'm sort of saying, and he swears by it. So go and have a look at that comment on episode 121, and even pop to his channel. If you grow tomatoes, he's a very knowledgeable person. So here we go, down the list. Loving our life vlogs, fish poo, Midwest gardener. So if we just run down them, Nick's allotment, Riverside's allotment, Southport Davy, Carrot and Cosmos, Jazz, she said banana, I think that's one to ten. Don's allotment, Digadooly, The Empty Nesta, Fifty Shades of Green. Jane Lee, regular commenter on my channel, thank you Jane. Vines, Adrian Forrester, Ryan and John's Allotment Journey, another channel there. Pop, pop and see all these channels. Some people haven't got channels, but uh, these people regularly com comment on my channel. Bob LT, Bob Mel's Gardening, Allotment Bubble, C3 Voyage, Tina's Garden, Not Rusty Bit. Mark Munro, Richard, Synonym, Marco Brotherton, another channel, Mick Watson, another channel, Kevin Griffiths, a good friend of mine, local, Linda Penny, Linda, if you're watching, just you need to know whether you want 1 to 10 or 1 to 25, Graham Thomas, the Gardening Addict channel, another lovely channel, Super Woody and Alan Jackson, another good channel. This is the last episode that you'll be able to let me know what you think. And I'm over 800 subscribers now, so this will be uh, a competition. And depending on where you live, or depending on what um, the competition prize will be. That's a shout out to all those channels. And definitely give Mike Herdis a visit and read his comments if you love growing tomatoes. My greenhouse is shaded by the uh, red robin and the glass is a bit dirty. But he does recommend a good clean greenhouse, plenty of sun. But all these tomatoes are in the same condition. Maybe the one nearest the door will dry out quicker. But I'm enjoying this experiment and it's surprising how long it takes just to uh, nurture the tomatoes. If you can take a moment to subscribe, if you like my channel, please share, like, and definitely comment. Like I say, this week will be the last week for anybody to put in their comment for this competition. And we will be looking for the most tomatoes in weight taken from the Gardener's Delight. Thanks for watching everyone. And take care till next time. Happy growing!